Hey, it's Dino, and today I want to talk to you about KVM maintenance within Apogee. If you're familiar with uh, Apogee X and Apogee Hybrid, you know there's a concept of key value maps, which are just uh, which is just a way to store uh, persistently store keys and values that can be accessed by API proxies at runtime. And inside the Apogee user interface, you can navigate through admin environments, key value maps, and you'll be able to uh, create and delete key value maps. One thing you cannot do from the user interface is uh, create key value pairs in any named key value map. It's just not a function that's available here. So exploring a little bit more, if I go onto a Google page and say Apogee REST API, let's see if there's an administrative API that allows me to create key value map, uh, to create values, key value pairs within a named key value map. I'm opening up the page for the Apogee um, REST API. Navigating down here, I can see, let's see, key value maps. Uh, that's what I want. And in this nav bar, you can see all I can do is create, delete, or list key value maps. So that's basically all the function that's being exposed via the administrative user interface, create, list, and delete. Uh, I actually want to populate values into them. How do I do that? It's not available via the administrative API. It is available via the key, the key value map operations policy. Um, so that's a runtime thing. That's a thing that would uh, exist within an API proxy. Um, how can we uh, how can we take advantage of that? Well, DevRel to the rescue, the Apogee customer engineering team has produced this DevRel repo with a bunch of valuable uh, things within it. And one of the things that they've built is a reference implementation of a key value map maintenance API. So this is an API proxy that you can use. It's got the correct security on it that allows you to populate key value pairs in your KVMs uh, via an API proxy. The way it works, uh, if you kind of look into it, uh, it just uses the key value map um, uh, policy, key value map operations policy to put things that are kind of dynamically determined by the um, the rest request or the uh, curl request uh, the uh, api request that comes into this api proxy okay so how do we how do we get this how do we take advantage of this well the first thing we're going to need to do is clone this repo so let me go back to uh, the main page. There's a whole bunch of things in this repo. We really just want, for the purposes of this conversation, the key key value map uh, admin uh, API, but I have to clone that whole thing. So I'm going to clone that. Uh, and I'll kind of change into that directory. What I want is references and the KVM uh, API. So let's go back here and we'll check the readme on GitHub. Scrolling down, find the um, KVM admin API, uh, and it describes what we need to do. So it says as a prerequisite, we need to create a KVM. Uh, I already have that, I showed you that. Uh, I've got a KVM, let's use KVM1 as the example. So I'm not gonna need to create that, but I do need uh, these settings. So first thing I'm going to do is get a token. Um, and really that's that's just authenticating me to my um, my organization. Uh, next thing I need to do is I need to set the uh, Apogee organization name. For me that is this value. For you it'll be something different. Uh, my KVM is KVM1. So KVM1. And then uh, I'm going to do an environment scoped KVM. Uh, that's what I want to provision. And so my environment is default dev. These values will be different for you. Uh, I've already created the KVM, so I don't need to use this curl command. But I do want to create the API proxy. That's going to import and deploy the API proxy into my uh, organization that's identified by this environment variable. Uh, and in that environment, uh, that Apogee environment. So let's run that. So what it's done is it's imported uh, and it is uh, it has deployed, has sent a request to deploy that API in the organization. And now what the, the tool is doing is polling. It's checking to see the deployment status of that 
uh, API proxy, and this will return when the um, API proxy is fully deployed. It takes a few seconds. Okay, that's deployed. Um, so we have that now in place, which means we can now use it. So using the API proxy, I have my own host name. This is the host name for the endpoint. So let's grab that. Um, and my, in my case, it's this. And I've got my token. I've got my organization. I've got my KVM name. I've got my Apigee environment. So how can I create um, an environment scoped uh, value. Uh, this is the curl command that I can use and I can put in whatever values, whatever key and value I prefer. Um, and now if I want to get um, that entry, similarly, I should be able to see the value that I just posted and there it is. It's coming back as a as a JSON. What if I do want to do something a little more exotic? I want to post a um, as an example. I want to post a uh, a value that itself is JSON. Well, I can I can do that as well. Just elaborating on this on the command to post in a value into the KVM. Uh, so this should be really simple. For you to use and then subsequently you can either tear down that kvm um, api proxy or, or you don't have to you can keep it there it's secured properly with the the token that i'm sending in um, so it, there is no concern about uh, unauthorized access into that api proxy uh, and then in your other api proxies you'll use a similar key value map operations policy similar to um, the KV get uh, that you see here. Um, you know, you just need to pass the correct um, key in order to get the value into your, um, your in context variable as part of the request. So that's it. That is how today you can do um, administration of key value pairs inside a KVM in Apigee.